What is going on, guys? I'm Sony Gaming here. We are here on Steam, but this is a Halo video. So, like I said the other day when I was watching Inside Xbox, well, I am going to be doing that video today and whenever it's able to be posted because my internet sucks. So, yeah, uh, at least the upload because it's gotten really, really slow lately. It takes a couple of hours, if not a day, to post a video, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, so over here, I already have it all on my wish list. We have officially, this is not Photoshop or anything. This is a picture, everything right here. So off, on, off, on. So it should be all good to know that it is here officially on Steam. Um, let's just go over to the page and they have the trailer and everything, which is awesome. Um, all the screenshots that we would normally get on Steam games, um, all high res and stuff. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, let's have the trailer run in the background. And one more. There we go. Um, but yeah, so this is obviously the MCC, um, which I am absolutely inside, excited about. I cannot wait for this game to have a price tag so I can pre-order if it's going to be able to be pre-ordered. If not, buy it at the moment. Um, but yeah, so obviously it is 343 Industries, Splash Dragon, and Ruffian Games, and a publisher of Microsoft. Um, the Halo Master Chief Exodus journey c covers six Halo games collected here in a single integrated experience built for PC. Whether you're a longtime fan of the meet or a meeting the Master Chief for the first time, the Master Chief Collection is the definitive Halo gaming experience, which it is. You get all of the Halo games besides Halo 5 and Halo Wars and that series, in this. All the mainstream Halo games, which is insane. So, obviously, you get Halo 1, uh, Halo 1 Remastered, Halo 2, Halo 2 Remastered, Halo 3 with 1080p60, so, quote-unquote, remaster, Halo 4, 1080p60, quote-unquote, remaster, uh, Halo 3 ODST, 1080p60 60 frames, quote-unquote, remaster, uh, and Halo Reach. Halo Reach is coming to the Master Chief Collection, and I cannot wait to see that game and play it once again. Um, for the first time ever, the Master Chief story comes to PC, because Halo 1 and 2 were on PC back in the um, Windows XP days. And then Microsoft... Well, no. Well, yeah, Microsoft and Bungie just dropped it. They didn't give Halo... Or, Three on PC or Halo 3 ODST or Halo 4 and so on. Obviously, they brought Halo 5 Forge, um, but that's not the same. Uh, and there is Halo Wars and Halo Wars 2, but those aren't the first-person experiences that PC players wanted on the Halo franchise. And now it's all coming here. So honoring the iconic hero and the epic journey master Chief's story is brought together with a total of 67 campaign missions plus more than 120 multiplayer maps including the original halo company evolved maps spartan ops as well from halo 4 and it is now built for pc with mouse and keyboard support and up to 4k ultra hd and hdr so i don't have a 4k uh or an HDR compatible monitor, but I do have 1080p60 and I can run HDR only on, like, let's say YouTube or Netflix or Hulu or something like that. So I have technically an HDR monitor, but it won't sync into games. It's only a streaming version of the HDR, but it's still really cool. And this collection, uh, this is the collection for Halo fans that we have all been waiting for, especially on PC. So the requirements aren't really there. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a lot more than this, but if you have had at least a computer back when uh, 2017 and 2018, but mainly 2018 when uh, Halo Online got big, if you can run at least 1080 60 on that, even on the highest settings, you are for sure able to run Halo 1 through 3 uh, 1080 60 no problem. Uh, Halo 4, on the other hand, it's a little bit more GPU intensive, um, so I'm not quite sure how it's gonna run uh, on like lower-ish end um, hardware. And 
on Halo Online, you're able to run it with an integrated graphics, like Intel 630. Uh, I believe that's what I have as my integrated, and then I have my dedicated as GTX 1050. Um, so I can run all that easy. Um, but I would probably... Okay, so here's a little bit of speculation. So I have a feeling the CPU is probably going to be some... Like the lower... For the minimum, it's going to be an i5. They always give some random numbers. So I'm going to say like an i5 6... 6000 series or something like that so it was like 6 6850 or whatever that one i5 is um i'm going to say it's going to be 8 gigs of ram uh it's 70 something gigs of space on the <clears throat> xbox at the moment with all of the games not including uh halo reach so probably at the beginning because they're doing an incremented um, chronological order release. So it's going to be Halo Reach, Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, and Halo 4. Uh, they're doing this strictly because they want the story to be in chronolo chronological order for the people on PC who are probably hopping into the game um, for the first time and never played Halo before. So they want them to understand the story and the build-up, and then they can possibly go and buy an Xbox and play Halo 5 to finish off the story. So, well, so from what we have so far. Uh, until Halo Infinite comes out on PC. Then they can continue from there. But yeah so. I would say maybe. So the i5. Uh, 8 gigs. I want to say at max. It's going to be 100 gigs. Of extra space. Which is still a massive game. But um, we also have to consider. Even if it is up to 70 gigs. On base they at least need to keep some of the textures if they're adding the texture filters, um, hi higher resolution textures. So it's probably going to be from anywhere from 80 to 90 gigs, but possibly more or less. This purely speculation. Um, I have a feeling it's going to require 64 bit and windows 10 OS. I have a feeling it's going to be one of those windows only games. Um, and it's not really going to support Mac or Linux. Um, and graphics card, I want to say, crap, I don't know, it's kind of hard to determine because you can run Halo 3 online, I got almost like 90, almost to 100 frames on the highest settings when I forced VSync off, because it forced VSync on, um, I had to force it off using a third party software, but, yeah, I, I want to say probably... I don't know, minimum, I'll probably say like a 770. Yeah, probably a 770, GTX 770. If not, it's going to be in the 10 series, so the lowest obviously is 1050. Uh, to get the solid one, um, like 1080p 60 frames. Um, and I'm not sure if there's going to be any super sampling, so if your card can run 4K at all. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's going to be able to do that, but... That's all speculation. I'm really not sure. Obviously, it's going straight off of here. Um, it's going to have a wide range of <clears throat> support for languages. And while I've been staring at this screen and everything right here, you probably notice requires third-party account Xbox Live. This means you have to have a Microsoft account, not Xbox Live Gold. And this only requires or in goes for Steam purchases. If you buy it on Steam, you're good to go. Just make a Microsoft account. Um, they might have a link, like a syncing, like a link, your Steam and Microsoft account to each other uh, type of system when the game goes live. Uh, if not, when you launch the game, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like, hey, you need a Microsoft account. It's going to sign you in and you're good to go. You never have to do it again. <clears throat> but that's, again, speculation. I don't really know what's up with that. Um... Obviously, single player, multiplayer, and online co-op. Online co-op, though, that means split screen. Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4 had split screen, and ODST, and Reach. But obviously, Halo 5 is not in here, but PC normally doesn't have split screen, so we'll see if they implement split screen um, into that. But also, now, speculation on the coming soon. So... There's hints and stuff that it's going to be 
either released for Halo Reach, because Halo Reach is obviously the first thing that's coming out for PC. Um, there's been leaks or and a lot of rumors that they're going to be releasing it at E3, if not a little bit earlier. Um, personally, I would actually really like it if they're releasing on at E3, because then we don't have to wait the extra five, six months that it normally takes just to be like, hey, here's a thing, it's official, but it's going to take a while. <clears throat> so hopefully uh, in the next month or two, I believe E3 is in like a month or two, it'll be released then, and then we can all go get it. And um, yeah, so prices, I'm not sure what they're going to price it at, because Halo MCC on Xbox is $60 when it launched. Um, but it's a couple years old now, and I don't think they're going to just plop it on Steam for a hard 60 um, just to have people rebuy it possibly for the third, fourth time. So I have a feeling it's probably going to be maybe 40 or $50. Uh, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> but... um. I don't know, unless they do a whole thing where you, obviously on Steam, you buy it and you get the whole package, but they're probably going to have Halo 3 ODST as a DLC as well, like it was originally, uh, for like the, what, $10? Um, so that might add for the DLC for it, but other than that, that's all I really know. And this is a little quirky thing. Uh, it says it's very similar to Star Wars, which I can see it's sci-fi and all that, but it, this is Star Wars and Halo, they're kind of different, like quite a bit. Masterpiece, I just realized that. But yeah, so if you guys are a Halo fan, it to, now is a really good time to be a Halo fan, especially if you've been on PC, uh, because now you get the ultimate Halo experience on your preferred platform if you prefer PC over console. And lately, I've been preferring PC over console, so this is an extreme thing for me. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys have any speculations as well on when you guys think it's going to be releasing or how much it's going to cost or what do you think the specs are, leave them in the comment box below, so let me know. Um, and I'll probably pick, I'll probably pin, like, the most reasonable setup uh, to the top so everyone can kind of possibly base their rig if they're trying to build a rig strictly for this game because there are some hardcore halo fans that are strictly on console but will buy a pc just for this game but they don't want to spend the thousands of dollars so they might go minimum spec but if we can kind of help them out that'll be awesome um but yeah so leave a like subscribe to the channel because once this game comes out i'll probably be doing a ton of stuff for it. If not, I'll probably be doing a playthrough of just all the campaigns because I love Halo so, so much. So, yeah. Um, Alright, that sound like a broken record. So, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, guys, and as always, on Sounder Out.